<laughs> Sorry, Asahi, but he's all yours. Hey, take responsibility for your own plan, why don't you? Oh, wait. We need to approach him exactly as we did yesterday. As far as he knows, he's never met us before. Theoretically. Oh, yeah, I guess that'd make sense. Okay, then. Let's give this a shot. <laughs> what do I do? I got all worked up and overstimulated during the concert. Oh, boy. Mippity Mop is still so green, but her stage presence is beyond godly. She's a natural-born idol through and through. Oh, I just want to touch her hand so badly. <laughs> hey, what do you want? N nothing, nothing at all. Just pretend like we were never here. <laughs> what a weirdo! I call him Nicole Black, but whatever. Suspicious behavior. It's him. It's gotta be him. I've never seen anybody more suspicious. Well, I sympathize with the sentiment. That was the same thing he said yesterday, word for word. I think we can cross him off our potential delusers list. Evaluation. That means I get to spend a lot of quality time with her. Hey, mind if I ask you some questions? She's so new, yet already so popular. I knew my valuations were on the money. A talent like this truly does come along only once every 2,000, nay, every 20,000 years. Which is why I simply must leave my dear Mippy Mop with a lasting impression. Give her the handshake of a lifetime. The time is nigh. My valuation, touching the bare hand of the seraphic Mippity Mop, will be akin to... to... The, that's the same thing he said yesterday, unfortunately. Hmm? What's that supposed to mean? And who gave you permission to talk to me anyway? Am I supposed to know you? Oh, uh, no, we were talking about and to somebody else, I swear. Definitely not you, so no worries. You already know what I'm going to say, don't you, Saki? I do. And yes, that was suspicious behavior, but he's not our man. Okay, let's check on goggles and see what there is to see. Hold on. I was the one who spoke to him yesterday, so I should be the one to talk to him today as well. Hello. Sorry to bother you again, but would you mind if we spoke with you a little more about, uh, Mippity Mop? I don't know what happened. Mippity Mop just didn't seem herself today. Like she was kind of... down. Um... Maybe I m made her sad. Did I do something I shouldn't have? Can you hear me? I never thought I'd be so worried about her. Hello? Earth to goggles? What can I do to help my poor Nippity Mop? I've got it! <laughs> when I was hurting, Nippity Mop smiled at me, and it made me feel better. So, so this time, I'll smile at her. I'll smile and make her feel like a hundred million yen. And he's off to smile at a child. Did, did you hear him cry out like that? really startled me. I think old Goggles is our guy. That couldn't have been further from what he told us yesterday. I think so too. Come on, we've got to catch him before he gets away.
illusion scape. We gonna go in? Take it that means you remember us. But isn't this the first time we've met Mr. Magane Taro? Uh, uh, uh. I'll just come right out and ask then. Are you the one who spawned this idle delusion? I, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> he got away. Speedy little guy, isn't he? That's all right, though. Did you see? He was visibly shaken. Which means the entrance to the delusion scape should be. Come on, let's get back to the event to find out for sure. Okay, so where's the door? That's odd. I don't see it anywhere. Is it possible that he wasn't our Deluser after all? The things he said were definitely different than before, and his behavior was the definition of strange. Are you telling me we were after the wrong guy this whole time? I find that hard to believe, but we'll lay this mystery to rest tomorrow. And so help me, Asahi. If you're late this time... You're late! Sorry, sorry. Didn't mean to keep you waiting. Well, believe it or not, that's what happens when you don't wake up on time. The event's about to end. You see goggles anywhere? Unfortunately not. It doesn't seem like he made it here today. <laughs> Thank you all so much! Well, that's the end of the concert. Let's talk to the attendees again and see if anything's different. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What do I do? I got all worked up and overstimulated during the concert. Oh, boy. Mippity Mop is still so green, but her stage presence is beyond. Oh, I just want to touch her hand so badly. <laughs> Let's just go. Good call. To know. Goggles never showed after all, huh? Which suggests that he is the Deluser. But if so, why hasn't the entrance to the Delusion Skate materialized yet? Maybe we're overlooking something someone you might be right let's go over the facts again and try to sort things out sure but let's do it on junk street the events all but over at this point So, 
know, is Megane Taro really our deluser here or not? Everybody else is recycling the same old lines and been pumped to shake Ryu's hand like it's their first time. You know, maybe I should get in on the whole handshake thing myself. That's it! That's the answer! It's too narrowly. Even within arts, there have been clues. What kinds of clues? It all comes back to the handshake event itself. Think about it. You're gonna have to enlighten me here. Well, first there was Chunk Widebody. Do you remember what he said? <laughs> Not that, you dingus. He said... Oh, I just want to touch your hand so badly. That he wanted to touch Ryu's hand. And then there was Twiggy Slims. Do you remember what he said? By my valuation. <sighs> what he... Which is why I simply hey, he's the loser. Dear Mippity Mop with a lasting impression. That he wanted to leave a le What I'm getting at is, neither of them had actually shaken Ryu's hand yet when we spoke with them. But Megane Taro was a different story. I was one of the. And her hand was so tiny. He said he couldn't bring himself to wash his hand, remember? Nailed it. The only person to have actually gotten his handshake was the only person to change his speech. But doesn't that just confirm that he's our deluser? It takes two people to shake hands, Asahi. You don't mean... I do. Our deluser is none other than Mippity Mop herself, Ryu Mimose. Whoa. I didn't even consider her. But wait, if that's the case, then... I know what you're going to ask. Why is Megane Taro the only one who didn't show up today? Yeah, it doesn't add up. I mean, the other two theoretically had their hands shaken eventually, right? If the handshake's the key, they should be exhibiting some differences with each loop too, right? It could be us. Our interference may have altered the course of events. What do you mean by our interference? We're unaffected by the reset effect of the time loop. Outsiders in a world on repeat. And when we thought we were onto something, we sought to disrupt Megane Taro's actions. Lord Almighty, Asahi! Control your stomach! We're trying to have a serious conversation here! Huh? That wasn't me. That has to have been you, Pinkoon. My stomach noises are much cuter and more delicate, like puppies playing beautiful music on a harp in a garden. Well, that just leaves... I'm sorry, Pinkoon. Yeah? It... It was me. Yeah? Uh, do you want to go get something to eat? It's getting late. We can have a nice meal, then break till tomorrow. Thanks. I'd like that. Yeah, let's do it! I'm in the mood for some nice fatty tuna myself. How about no? You can't even eat in public, can you? No good jerk this meat. What say you to ramen? I've got a craving and know this great spot on the edge of Junk Street that I bet you'd love. You down, Saki? It would be my first time. Do you think I'd be okay? I mean, aren't ramen joints kind of scary? What have people been telling you? In this day and age, even lone high school girls don't bat an eye at eating ramen. Yeah, but I'm a country girl with simple taste. I like my jiro style broth with quail eggs and my tonkotsu noodles firm. Yo, that's pro tier ramenology. You are definitely not a simple country girl. You might even be able to out ramen me. Anyway, just follow me. I won't steer you wrong on this one. Thank you, Asahi. Sorry to keep you waiting. Oh man, I'm beat. But you're hardly late at all. For you, that's quite the accomplishment. Hey, I can get stuff done when I put my mind to it. Shame it's such a rare occurrence. But now we have time to question people both before and after their handshakes. Right, and we'll need to pay special attention to how that changes things. Any sign of goggles today? None, I'm afraid. Which is why we need to be extra vigilant and try to find the real source of this delusion.
<laughs> what do I do? What should I say to her? What can I say to her? This is new, right? Yeah. He's even got a different vibe in general today. Asahi. Hey, you got a minute? <laughs> Are you talking to me? Uh, no, it hasn't started. Right now, I'm trying to... <laughs> trying to figure out what to say to her when it's my turn. Uh, I've got to figure out how I can make Mippity Mop feel better. <laughs> because I'm feeling pretty good. <laughs> Wait for me, Mippity Mop. You may be onto something, Saki. That was even weirder than usual. But what does it mean? Nobody's even shaken Ryu's hand yet. The handshake event with Mippity Mop begins. Oh, I'm so nervous. By my valuation, the most appropriate words for a situation like this are, check it out, Saki. The handshake event hasn't started yet, but he's already acting differently than yesterday. Let's see where this goes. What can I do to fill the hole in Mippity Mop's heart? Even my valuations have failed to provide me an answer. And the shaking of the hands will begin so soon. Could it be that my valuations have gone completely awry? Ah, <sighs> but you are priceless, Mippity Mop. You are sacred and majestic. I offer you all that I have to give. We're definitely pre-handshake, but none of this fits my theory. The conversation has definitely taken a turn for the weirder. I'll say... Everybody's different this time around. Okay, I officially have no idea what's going on anymore. I'm just as lost as you are. Something's afoot for sure, but what? Well, the answers won't come to us if we're just standing around here. Wanna go grab a bite? I could use a break. You know what? That sounds great. Let's cool our heads for a bit and come back with a fresh perspective. How about curry today? I know a really good spot, though it's a little bit of a haul from here. N no! No, ramen's fine with me. I mean, I'm not a fan of greasy foods, but I wouldn't want to make you walk. The place we went yesterday's fine. Nah, it's cool. The walk's really not all that bad. Plus, eating at the same place two days in a row is a little... I don't care. My heart's set on ramen now, so ramen it shall be. The same shop we enjoyed yesterday, too. Guess even my meals aren't safe from this time loop. Kotari ramen two days in a row is not easy on the old stomach. Y you think? I thought it was just as easy to eat today as it was yesterday. Weren't you saying you're not that into ramen? <laughs> what was all that about? Whoever she was, she looked like she was in a hurry. She was indeed. Very cute and constructed, though. Like an idol. Wait. Do you think it was Mippity Mop? Asahi, take cover! <laughs> Mippity Poo! Wait for me! Wait for me! Oh, God, it's chasing Why don't you tell us what happened? Is my valuation incorrect? Well, what's going on? Are her fans chasing her? Something's not right here. Asahi, we have to follow them! Hey, wait! Ow! Let go of my arm! Come on! Run! Wait, wait! If we want to catch up, we should go this way. It's a shortcut. We'll head him off at the pass. Over here! 
Don't worry. He may look like one of them, but you can trust him. He'll keep you safe. One of them? Look, just hide behind me, Mippity Mop. That should keep you out of eye shot. My valuation, she should be over here somewhere. Mippity Mop, where did you go? <laughs> Onward, wide body. Let us resume our search over that away. <laughs> Ooh, I think we lost them. Um, thank you. Both of you. No, no, think nothing of it. You're Ryu Mimose, are you not? Oh, are you familiar with my work? Familiar nothing? We were at your big event at the Versailles. Oh my gosh, really? Wow, thank you so much. You idols sure do have it rough, though. Were those two idiots waiting in the shadows to harass you or something? No, 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 it's nothing like that. They weren't harassing me. Those people are fans who've come out to cheer me on, even though I'm still so new and inexperienced. Not harassers. Fans are harassers, it still looked like you were running for your life. That was just a little misunderstanding. It was all my fault. Wow, taking the blame for being chased by your fans. You couldn't be a more picture-perfect idol if you tried. Oh no, I'm not just saying that. I, I really mean it. Honest. <laughs> still, it makes me so happy to hear you say something so nice about me. God, how can you be so cute? Excuse me, Asahi. I'm noticing a distinct difference between the way you address her and the way you address me. Well, duh. I'm starting to think I'm gonna have to stand in that handshake line tomorrow myself. Actually... Huh. Yesterday, it was right about now that we... Hmm. Hmm? What are you doing? Mippity Mop didn't come this way at all yesterday, did she? Which means... <sighs> Finally catching on, are you? Those two fans chasing her all the way out here worry me, though. It's very strange. Uh, sorry to interrupt you guys, but is something wrong? What? Wrong? No, oh, no, it's nothing, sorry. Just, you know, private. Now that I think of it, we might want to skedaddle. Good plan. There's a chance those two fans might double back this way. Why don't you let me see you off? B but I don't want to trouble you. Trust me, he'd be happy to. And though he's a neat, Akihabara like the back of his hand. So no matter where you need to be, I'm sure that he'll get you there safely. Not sure if compliment or insult. Well, are you 100% sure it wouldn't be a bother? If I mean... 200%. In fact, I'd be more bothered if I couldn't escort you back. Thank you so very much. So where exactly do you need to go? To Akihabara Station, if you don't mind. But if it's too far, you can just leave me right here. It's totally fine. Roger that. No matter where you need to go in Akihabara, I'll make sure that you get there safe and sound. I've never seen you so eager, Asahi. here. A little late to be asking this now, but are you sure you don't need us to escort you any farther? Oh, no, no, no. This is fine. Thank you so very much. I take the train from here every day, so I'll be a-okay. You're so sweet and modest for an idol. What would you say to Big Sis Saki buying you some candy sometime? <laughs> I'd love that. Asahi, Saki, thank you both so much for taking care of me today. Ah! An idol actually knows my name. Is now really the time for this, Asahi? Oh, and feel free to call me Ryu. Once again, thank you ever so much. From the very bottom of my heart. So, uh, is it okay that we just let her go like that? Yeah, I think we've done all we can for today. But these strange events are really perturbing. You mean Mippity Mop's behavior? Ryu's certainly a part of it. But her two pursuant fans and the still absent Megane Taro only deepen the mystery. 
we're getting close to cracking the case, though. Tomorrow, we can finally get our answers. Yo, Saki, why is this so much fun for you? Huh? It's just... I don't think most people would take the whole delusions encroaching upon reality thing so well. I guess I like it when my life isn't predictable. And you have to admit, nullifying delusions is pretty fun. Who'd want to go to school day in and day out anyway? And be the same as everyone else? It's boring. Wearing the same uniform as everyone else, doing the same things after school? I hated it. Then one day, I found a mysterious door. At first, I had no idea what I was looking at, but I went through anyway. And I met someone strange on the other side. Someone who taught me what I know now about the delusionscape, the delusions that inhabit it, and the necessity of nullifying it all. Regular people didn't understand. How could they? They couldn't even see it. Only a select few can nullify delusions. In my mind, it sounded like someone was saying, we finally found you. On that day, my life was changed forever. So from then on, I've been living as a chosen one. Wow, this is the first I've heard of any of that. It happened a short time before I met you, Pinkun. A chosen one, huh? I wouldn't mind being chosen. Chosen to sit on my butt all day as the world passes me by. Oh, come on. I was trying to be forthcoming and everything. There's no such thing as a chosen meat, dingus. Nobody wants the Lord of the Lazy. Yeah, yeah. Well, this unchosen neat is about to head back to his neat realm in which he is Lord of the Lazy. Later. Remember, we meet tomorrow at the event space. And promise you won't be late. I never make a promise I can't keep. And he's late. <sighs> it wasn't my fault. My futon just loves me too much to let me go. Somehow, I believe that. You do spend a lot of time together. But I should really stop putting my faith in you. S sorry Well, you didn't waste the entire day. The concert's nearly over, though, so let's hurry up and ask some questions. But advanced warning, there's something particularly off about the fans today. Huh? How so? They all seem so... despondent? You'll see what I mean when you talk to them. Come on, let's get investigating. <laughs> Mippity Mop, what's wrong? Hey, did something happen? I'm not getting any murmurings from Mippity Mop. <laughs> <laughs> That's it! I can't take it! I'm so worried, it's making me thirsty! Sorry, but I gotta go buy a soda pop! <laughs> Not getting any murmurings? That dude is weird. She must have found a boyfriend. It's the only explanation. And if it's true, she'll have to retire outright. Hey, mind telling me what's going on? Not now! You'll have to come back later. I can't take my eyes away from this for even a single second. What was that all about? Why in the world would she have to retire? Hey, are you okay? You don't think yesterday's incident with those two fans has anything to do with all this, do you? I can't imagine it would, since today's concert went off without a hitch. That's true. The crowd went just as wild as they always do. Even the handshake event started without incident. Players really have it tough, don't they? All it takes is one boyfriend and their career is over in the blink of an eye. Yeah, Slim's McKenzie was saying something about that, wasn't he? Hmm... The other man said something odd, too. Something about not being able to hear her murmurings anymore? Yeah, that was weird. Wait, I think I see what's going on here. You do? Saki, can I borrow your phone? Huh? Uh, sure. 
time for some cyber investigation. Let's check out Mibbity Mop's Quipper account. Oh, I hadn't even thought of that. I see. Now the pieces are all falling into place. She stopped updating her Quipper, so some of her fans have speculated that she's seeing someone. Megane Taro mentioned her Quipper on that first day. He said she never misses her daily updates. This is it! This has got to be the X-Factor we're looking for. She must have quipped about how anxious she was yesterday after going through the time loop. That would make all of her fans extra worried about her for sure. Up until then, her quips were probably all bubbly and happy and idol-like. But that doesn't explain Goggles. He noticed something was up day one. I think I know why. The first day the idol delusion was formed, Megane Taro was first in line to shake Ryu's hand and was overjoyed. Yeah. He said he'd never wash his hand again. You've got to be pretty happy to be that gross. But then on the second day, he was the only person to worry about Ryu after shaking her hand. Now I get it. She sent out her daily quip as usual, but couldn't hide her bewilderment when she saw him again. She probably woke up early and noticed that it was Sunday all over again. And who'd be prepared for that? If an ordinary girl were placed into extraordinary circumstances, it would be rather hard for her to hide her unease. But Mippity Mop's no ordinary girl, and she had fans anxiously waiting for her. Yep, and not wanting to let them down, she pretended not to worry about the time loop, and the event went on. Each day, she was getting more and more disturbed, and we didn't even notice. Come on, we've got to head her off at Akihabara Station. She might be taking the train home any minute now. So, just to super confirm, you really think Mippity Mop's the source of the delusion? Take a moment to ask yourself, is there any other possibility? Well, I mean, you know, there's... I don't like it any more than you do. She's so courteous and personable that it hurts to doubt her. But the facts are the facts. She has a lot to be concerned about, a lot to delude herself about. <gasps> Good to see you again. Uh... I'm sorry, do I know you? Ryu, you don't have to pretend. We know you remember us. You remember us seeing you off at this very station just yesterday, don't you? Yesterday? I had yesterday off, so I was at home sewing the entire day. Like heck you were! Yesterday you were being chased around by your obnoxious fans! N none of my fans are obnoxious! Don't be mean to them like that. Oh? So you heard that voice just now? Ladies and gentlemen, the one, the only, Pinkoon! <gasps> only a few very special people can hear or see Pinkoon. And I think you know what I'm going to say next, don't you? I do. Guess you found me out, huh? I'm sorry. I swear, though, we don't mean you any harm. We also don't intend to tell your fans. Why don't you come with us and we'll continue this discussion elsewhere? All right. Ryu, would you mind telling us your side of the story? Saki... I'm sorry, but I have to ask. I know that, but... It's all right. I don't mind, really. I'm the one at fault, after all. Mippity... Okay, Ryu. Tell me. Okay. Ever since I was really, really little, I always wanted to be a pop idol. I loved to sing and dance, of course. But I also loved watching other idols sing and dance, too. And I started to think... Wouldn't it be great if idols were even bigger? And I dreamed of what that would be like. Did you say dreamed? And then a few days ago, that dream of mine came true. My manager called me out of the blue and told me I was scheduled for an event in Akihabara. At first, I thought it had to be a mistake. But then I thought, if it's real, it's too exciting to say no. I shouldn't have gotten my hopes up. But I did exactly what I was told and went straight to Akihabara. And when I got here, I couldn't hide my shock. They really did set up an event just for 
me! But it didn't take me long to realize that it was all just part of my dream. Still, I was so happy. My dream was right there, right in front of me. Until it started coming true day after day. Then it started to scare me. It scares me to know that my selfish wish could cause so much trouble for my fans. They're all prisoners. Prisoners in my never-ending dream. And that's all I know. I know I must sound crazy, so if you don't believe me, I understand. We do believe you, Ryu. Every word. Thank you so much for telling us that. But this is not a dream, nor anything else nearly as grand or wondrous. It's your delusion. N delusion But that's what we are here for. We want to help nullify your delusion. We want to get you out of this. And if we do, this will all go away. The delusion will lose its grip on reality, and everything will revert to normal. Saki, seriously, that's... Necessary. There's no other way to go about this. We can't ignore delusions that eat away at reality. Yeah, but that's a lot for someone to take in all at once. Can't you ease her into it or something? So if you do, um, nullify my delusion, what happens exactly? Well, uh, about that. It'll be as if your event never happened. What? It'll all go away. Everything will be a blank slate. But... But that's reality. That's the way things really are. What about all my fans? They'll forget everything they did at the event. And even that the event ever existed. And what will happen... to me? The same thing. You'll forget everything that happened and relive your Sunday the way it was meant to be lived. But that's... that's so... I'm sorry, Ryu, but I'm afraid there's no other choice. This delusion needs to be brought to an end. <gasps> Mippity, I... I'm so sorry, everyone. So, you understand what has to be done? I'm sorry! Uh, Mippity, wait! She's faster than she looks. Why do I feel like we're definitely the bad guys in this situation? Stow it! We're defending reality from the merciless encroachment of delusion. Yeah, but still, we probably could have handled that a little better. We gonna chase after her now? It wouldn't be easy to find her here. Not with all these people milling about. So, what? Do we just let her run? That doesn't seem like the best idea to me. Even given how much we've shaken her, there's no guarantee it'll make the entrance to the delusion scape appear. If it doesn't, then we'll just raise a ruckus tomorrow to finish the job. How are we going to do that if she skips out on her event? Shouldn't be a concern. She came today, after all, and saw the event through to its completion. She's not the type to abandon her fans. She'll be at the event tomorrow. I'm sure of it. <sighs> this is just getting complicated now, isn't it? Well, I guess we can pick it up in the morning, then. Or the afternoon, in your case. Tomorrow we infiltrate the delusionscape, so try to get to bed early tonight. We'll see. Nice work today. I like her too, you know. And I don't want to hurt her any more than you do. No one, I'm home! Man, I'm extra bush today. But Mippity's probably even more exhausted, all things considered. If my delusion were made manifest, could I bring myself to see it destroyed? And would I be able to destroy it? I wonder what kind of delusion I'd even have, anyway. What would I want so badly that it'd start seeping into reality? <sighs> oh, dang, it's not even midnight. Oh well. Good night, Squalor. So early. Rise and shine, Dingus. P Pinkoon? Asahi, come on, we have to hurry. Huh? Why? What's going on? And how did you get in, trespassers? Hey, you're the one who left the door unlocked. Anyway, we have to go now. Things are looking real bad. Yeah, I get that, but. 
What do you mean? Ryo's event's been called off. What? You taking a safe break? Be careful you don't overwrite the wrong file. Can the event be cancelled? What am I supposed to do with my hundreds of handshake tickets? What's going on? We deserve an explanation. <laughs> yeah, and if it's not a good one, we're not giving up on seeing our sweet Miffity Mop. This is chaos. What happened? Ryu announced on Quipper that the event is off. They're making fools of us! By my valuation, failure to get reimbursed for this event will result in riots. Come out and apologize for this. We know you can hear us. <laughs> Man, they're really getting wild. If Ryu were here to see this, I can't even imagine how she'd react. Traitor! Give me back my savings! <laughs> No! No! Everybody, stop! It's not what you think! Whoa, it's Goggles! What's he doing here? Mippity Mop hasn't b betrayed us! She's n not a traitor! She loves her fans more than anyone else! You shut your mouth right now, or you'll need a new pair of glasses, Four Eyes! <laughs> Mippity Mop is having medical issues! She has to be! She would never leave us like this otherwise! By my valuation, she has committed a grave offense against us this day, which cannot be easily rescinded or remedied. Give us Mippity Mop! We want Mippity Mop! What do we do, Asahi? This is all our fault. We never should have driven Ryu into a corner like this. Just calm down. You were just telling me yesterday how much you believed in her, right? In her convictions? Y yeah but... Keep the faith. I think she's somewhere nearby, watching all of this unfold. You're right. I can't imagine she'd be anywhere else. Let's try to find her. <sighs> so here you are. Mippity. Oh, it's you. The stage is looking a little post-apocalyptic right now. You might want to hide yourself while you still can. Bring out Mippity Mop! Make her apologize! There will be hell to pay! I said don't blame Mippity Mop! She's not a bad person! And I said get out of our faces, you bespectacled bastard! <laughs> You can hear everything, even from here. I'm sure Mippity Mop will explain everything to us. You don't have to get so angry. Shut the hell up! No! Everyone stop! Please! Ryu 
wait! You mustn't go that way! You're putting yourself in danger! Listen up, everyone! Huh? Isn't that the traitor herself? Isn't that Mippity Mop? It is! The traitor has shown her face! Uh, give me back my money! You all right? They didn't hurt you, did they? M M Mippity Mop! I'm fine, just fine! Thank you for asking! It's not safe for you here. You need to run! Please! Wait, Mippity Mop! What happened today? Why did you cancel? That... that's a long story. Ryu... It's because you have a medical condition, isn't it? You're not feeling well, are you? A and that's why you're here. To tell everybody that in person, right? I... I... Hey, there's our entrance. This was too much for her. She couldn't keep hiding her anxiety. Now hurry up. We have a delusion to nullify. But... If we succeed, it'll bring this whole standoff to an end. And right now, that seems like the only way it'll happen. The only surefire way to end a dream is to wake up. Uh. Wait! Please! Ryu? Are you... going to destroy my dream? Or I guess... my delusion? That's right. Just like I told you yesterday, we have to nullify it. It's the only way. I'm so sorry. No. I get it. And I'd like to come with you. Wow. Seriously? I want this delusion to stop. And I want to put an end to it myself. I've run away. I've betrayed my fans. Oh, I'll just get in there. is very dangerous, though. We can't guarantee your safety or even your life. I don't care. No matter the danger, so many people have been hurt because of oh, my. Oh, come on. Don't... It won't be so bad. If anything happens, you can count on me to make it right. What? Sure, she can. She was there talking way too much to your... me. Okay. Actually, wait. Can... Whoa, Mippity. Everybody! What fresh evils have you come to visit upon us now, traitor? Explain yourself! Now! Silence! Let the idol speak! Glasses wearing freak. I know you're all going to forget this soon. You've forgotten so much already. But for me... These last few days have been a dream come true. Hearing your cheers of encouragement on stage, feeling the warmth of your handshake, it's all been like a dream. And even if you do, I'll never forget a single moment. I'll always... Oh, I'm just sorry at all. Oh, I'm come really... On. Thank you all. Thank you so much. <laughs> what on earth is she talking about? I don't get any of it. And before I run off to face, I, Ryu Mimosa, hereby swear that I'll become a one way or a foot for... She really is a s Sorry to- You all ready to- You bet- I just did- There's way too much talking for me. God speak- I will- Way too much dialogue.
What is this place? It's called a delusion scape. Ah! Oh, that's right. We never properly introduced you, did we? This is my friend Pinkoon. He stays out of sight most of the time. Nice to meet ya! It's nice to meet you, too. Uh, by the way, should we be worried about all of the fans? Won't they try to follow us in here? There's no need to worry. Ordinary people can't even perceive that door. Huh? Does that mean they all just saw us? Vanish? I can see tomorrow's tabloids now. Absent idol abducted by alien. Come on now. Let's not worry about that. Let's make our way to the deepest part of this maze, shall we? What was that? The bad guys. Wonderful explanation, Asahi. Ryu, what you just heard were monsters who live here in the delusion scape. Am I supposed to fight those? Don't worry about it. You've got us on your side. Plus, here, delusion is power. Just look at the absurdly cute weapon you're holding in your hands. Whoa! When did I get this? If worse comes to worse, you can always use Asahi as a shield. He's dense enough that he should hold up fairly well. Uh, okay. They don't sound friendly. Let me teach you two a special combat technique that might just come in handy. Are you ready? We're going to create an Imagine Field. Uh, what now? Imagine? The Imagine Field's a special attack that Saki discovered herself! It's easy, since you probably did it a bunch as a kid. You just pretend you're in a music video and fight to the beat. What kind of childhood did you have? Pretend you're in a music video to fight monsters? Are you serious? Yeah! What? Like, you never listened to music and moved in time with it, striking cool poses right at the... Just give in to the music and it'll come right back to you. You'll be using the Imagine Field in no time. I'll probably be... Come to think of it, my weapon does kind of look like it used to be some sort of music player. You seriously just noticed that now? Anyway, come on. Let's take...
Did we win? We Not bad for a first fight. Wow, praise from Caesar. Nice job, Nippity. It's true, though. Those were some very nice moves. Aw, thanks. R really? Well, I, you know. But, Saki, I gotta say, though, I think I finally get what you were saying. Get? What's there to get? You just have to pretend you're starring in a music video. It's only natural. <laughs> natural, huh? What? Why are you laughing? Um... Uh, he's saying that you've got a cute side, Saki, and I agree. What do you mean by that? Forget I said anything about the whole music video thing. Erase it from your mind. Just come on. We've got to get to the deepest part of this maze. Huh. You're gonna like run, this. now's your chance! Not so fast! Three foes, but the first attack is ours! Let's Coming. make it count! Yeah. Not some job. Not some job. Take this. Hot, 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 hot
something.
Fighting for a while now. Why don't we take a little break here? Think we're getting close to the Grand Phantasm yet? Grand Phantasm? Would that be? Oh, sorry. Forget I said that. It's been a pretty busy adventure so far. So how about we talk about something fun? Okay. What made you want to be a pop idol in the first place? Oh, pulling out the big guns right at the start. Why do you ask, Saki? Looking for tips on breaking into the business? Oh no, I. Uh, well. A little, I guess. <laughs> Saki, you're so cute. And Asahi, you shouldn't be so surprised. All girls want to be idols at some point. As for me, I saw other idols singing and sparkling on my TV screen and just wanted to stand by their sides. But reality got in my way. I'm the youngest in my family by far. I have a much older brother and a much older sister. So, naturally, I grew up wearing out-of-style hand-me-downs. I never really had anything fancy. So whenever I saw idol singers on the other side of my TV screen, I'd marvel over their pretty outfits. You know, the sort of thing any kid would do. At least at first. I wanted to sparkle too. 
I wanted to wear pretty clothes. So I started learning to sew, hoping to make my own. I scrimped and saved for fabric and learned to use my mama's sewing machine. But no matter how hard I tried to imitate the clothes I saw on TV, I could never capture that same sparkle. Why were mine so wrong, I wondered. But it was around that time that my sister got me tickets to see my favorite idol live in concert. And when I saw her perform in person, that's when I finally understood. It wasn't the clothes that made her sparkle, it was the fans. We cheered for her, and she supported us right back. Those smiling faces were what made all the difference. I thought to myself, yes, this is it. This is the sparkle I seek. And from that day on, I devoted myself to becoming a great idol just like her. That's my greatest hope and dream. My papa was against it, though. So to convince him, I studied late into the night every, every, every single day. And finally, after a whole lot of hard work and persistence, I was finally walking the path to become a real idol. <laughs> and that brings us to today. There's my idol origin story. Wow. For someone so young, you've put yourself through a lot. Imagine that, Asahi. Working hard to actually do things with your life. Quiet, you. I can relate, though. I know what it's like to want to sparkle like the idols on TV. Idols really are a special breed. Saki? Thank you so much for sharing that with me, Ryu. No, thank you. I actually feel a lot better getting that all off my chest. Asahi, Saki, and even Pinkun. Thank you all for listening to my story. Now what are we waiting for? We've got to go smash my delusion. A door! Don't forget to knock first!
Yes, it's the Grand Phantasm. If we defeat it, this delusion gets nullified, right? Hey, Mippity, I want to confirm with you one last time before we do this. Once we beat this thing, your delusion will be shattered. Any effect on reality it had will disappear, which means your dream will die with it. It'll be like none of it ever happened. Are you sure you're okay with it? What's wrong? Just now that it's right in front of me, I have to admit I'm scared. I should have been ready for this, but... Ryu... Then can you really call yourself an idol? Asahi! You made a promise to your fans. You told them that you'd become an idol for real. That's right, but... So tell me, what is a real idol to you? Um... I really want to know. Okay, an idol is a ray of hope for all of her fans. She makes them smile, and in turn, they make her smile right back. Now that's a good answer. <sighs> Guess I'm causing you guys trouble all the way through to the bitter end, huh? If that's what you call trouble, Mippity, then you can cause trouble for us anytime. Asahi, that is so lame. I can do this. I'll bust up this delusion and find some real way to make my fans smile. All right. In that case, let's get to busting. We ain't gonna stop till it makes us feel good. I ain't afraid of no phantasm. Huh. Only one enemy. We can do Hot, hot. Over. 
Phantasm's disappearing. And with it, so too goes the delusion. The dreams of an idol come to life. Huh? Mibini? Thank you, Grand Phantasm. Thank you for going along with my delusion and bringing it into reality. Your magic may be gone now, but I promise you that one day, I'll make that dream come true again. All by myself. But until then, thank you for giving me the happiest days of my life. It's gone. It's okay. I said my goodbyes. I'm glad. Let's get out of here now, okay? Sure. What's going on? Is something wrong, Saki? Something's not right. What do you mean? Everything's all wrapped up now, isn't it? It should be, yes. But still... Well, I'm sure it's nothing. For now, we should get out of here and confirm that the delusion has truly vanished. back safe and sound and holy crap it's already nighttime it seems the encroachment of the delusion has completely disappeared <laughs> i can't wait for nanamine's handshake event i bought a whole box of handshake tickets now i'll be able to touch her so very many times <laughs> Touching Nanamine's hands. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. I can't believe it. I'm so nervous. By my valuation, Nanamine is the kind of idol who comes along only once every 300 years. Wait, what's going on? People are still talking about getting their hands shaken. Could it be? No, no. Nanamine's been a popular idol in Akihabara for a long time now. This is normal. At least as normal as things get in Akiba anyway. I see. So without Ryu headlining, the fans have gravitated to a different star, so to speak. That's about the size of it. Man, had me worried there for a moment. I thought maybe we'd somehow failed to nullify the delusion after all. I do wonder where that one nice man went, though. Which one was nice again? The one who stuck by me and told me he would cheer for me to the very end. G Godspeed, Mippity Mop. I will always, always, always and forever cheer you on. Oh, you mean goggles. Yeah, I don't see him around anywhere. Wait, hold the phone. Mippity, do you... Huh? You still remember everything that happened, don't you? Oh, now that you mention it, I guess I do. What the heck is going on here? Did we not kill the Grand Phantasm hard enough or something? But we all saw it vanish, and the effects of the delusion are no longer affecting reality. So how come she still has her memories? Did you use a flashy green memory wipe thing on that Onda guy or something? No, this is the first time this has ever happened. Ryu, do you have any idea what might be going on here? No, all the stuff from my delusion is poof, gone. But not my memories. And I have no idea at all why that would be. Well, memories or no memories, I'm just glad we finally got this over with. Same here. Though I don't like new developments that I can't understand. Oh, hold up. Infinite Sunday check. Are we still stuck? You have a phone. Check for yourself. Yep. Sunday all over again. Damn it. I don't know what I expected. There's just no end in sight for this loop. Uh... uh... What is it, Ryu? Are you going to keep taking down delusions from here on out? That's the plan. I can't just leave them as they are, and neither can Asahi. No matter how many times I try. Well then, um, feel free to say no, but if possible, would you mind taking me with you on your future missions? Huh? Hold on, Nippity, are you serious here? Yes, of course I am. 
I promised my fans that I'd make my dreams come true. But if this day keeps repeating, that'll never happen. An idol can't afford to stand still. Plus, I feel like my journey isn't over yet. So please, let me help. What do you think, Saki? Hmm... I don't see any problem with it. I mean, she's already involved as it is, right? Give me a second to think. Saki, please? If it means that much to you, I don't mind either. The fact that your memories remain is also worthy of further study. Really? You mean it? Oh, thank you both so much! And thank you, Ryu. I'm looking forward to working together with you. This is like something out of an RPG. Mippity Mop has joined the party. Yeah. I have trouble distinguishing fantasy from reality without throwing games into the mix. <laughs> anyway, it's pretty late now, so what say we call it a day and reconvene in the... Mm, afternoon? No! What's wrong? Look! Over there! Hmm? What is it? Oh, come on. Give me a break already. You can't be serious. That's totally a new delusion, isn't it? It was my dream to become a real idol. And when I thought that dream had finally come true for me, it wound up being nothing more than a delusion. I hurt the people who came out to cheer me on. Worse yet, I made them sad. But now, I have the chance to make them all smile again. I will become an idol, and repay them for all the kindness they showed me. I want to make them smile. And I want them to make me smile. I want to inspire them. That's what it means to be a real idol. Let's hippity hop straight to your hearts. Oh, I'm glad it's over. <laughs>